guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Yang Yang here. Japan Open just finished five days ago. If you follow this tournament, you must be shocked by the news that Chinese young player world ranked 599 Sun Wen defeated world ranked number four player Harry Moto with a 4 0 big winning. Today, we are going to take a closer look at Harry Moto's playing style and talk about the game strategies that Sun Wen used to beat Harimoto. Harimoto, a Japanese table tennis player, the youngest champion of ITTF World Tour Grand Finals at his 15 years old. He beat most of all the world's top players like Ma Long, Fan Chengdong, Zhang Ziqi, Timo Bo, and Mizu Tanian. <laughs> No matter serve return or during the rallies, Harimoto always contacting the ball with early timing, right after it bounces, faster than most of the female players, which makes other players who stay far from the table are not ready to return the balls. Different from all the male players, Harimoto's playing style is similar like female players. Staying close to the table, small stroke, fast swim, and set up the placement very well. Harimoto tries to attack all the balls with full power, even though it may increase the chance of missing, but it still brings a lot of pressure to his opponent. Harimoto's backhand technique is super. He could flick almost all the surf return with very good quality. During the rallies, his backhand also shows undefeated ability and a strong power. We all admit that Harimoto has great talent of table tennis. One evidence shows that it is a great touch feeling. When you try to contact the ball faster, you may make more mistakes because you are confused by opponent's spin if you do the faster return. But for Harimoto, he returns the ball so fast, but he still keeps a high accuracy. It is not normal players could achieve. There's no doubt that Harimoto has become one of the biggest enemy for Chinese team after he surprisingly defeated so many top Chinese players. Chinese team is analyzing and looking for good strategies to beat Harimoto. You can tell that very well from this match. It was round 32, Harimoto's first match against Sun Wen in Japan Open. Sun Wen is a Chinese player. He just got selected to Chinese national team nine months ago. He beat Fan Zhendong in Chinese table tennis league twice. From that, we believe that Sun Wen has solid techniques and abilities for his winning. So let's jump into the match. <laughs> Seems Harimoto is a player who stays closer to the table. If Sun stays back far from the table, he cannot catch up Harimoto's fast speed. So he stayed close to the table as well. No matter he attacks first, he stayed closer to the table, continue attacking. Or Harimoto attacks first, he stays closer to the table, block the ball and find a chance to attack. This was the first time Harimoto played against Sun Wen. We could tell Harimoto had a lot of troubles to return Sun Wen's serve. And Sun Wen used his advantage to play out his style very well. As we mentioned before, Harimoto has really good backhand. So the majority of Sun Wen's serve went to Harimoto's forehand shot and backhand long. 
When Strain serves to full hand shot, he knows that Harimoto would prefer to use backhand to return full hand ball. So he was ready for a backhand or full hand attack. Strong one makes the backhand and the middle long serves together with his forehand short serve. This confuses Harimoto because when you have to protect your backhand long corner, it decreases your power on backhand short flick. Harimoto returns the ball fast, catch the earlier timing, but there's one shot coming. If opponent generates a lot of spin, it will increase the missing chance of Harimoto. That's exactly what Sun did on his serve return. He flicks the ball with heavier spin. It's really hard for Harimoto to attack on that ball. If he does not have the chance to flick the serve, he would push shot and low, so it's harder for Harimoto to attack as well. We noticed that Chen Qi, Sun Wen's main coach, caught a timeout at 7 to 6, the third game. Why was that? Because Sun was leading 7 to 3, and Harimoto came back with 7 to 6. Also, at that time, Harimoto was pretty quiet. It was unusual for his game, and Sun felt bad if he keeps screaming. Chen Qi told Sun that. You have to formally execute our game strategies, sending the ball straight to his forehand bottom line. Don't be rushed to win. Also, you have to scream when you won a point. Don't be affected by your opponent. After that timeout, Sun won the third game with 11 to 7. All right, that's all for today. If you like this game strategy explanation video, please give me a thumbs up. I will consider to do more in the future. If you are new here, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Wish you guys have a wonderful day. I will see you soon. Bye.